safe lane, but then what's happening with Third Spirit and Nyx Assassin, because that really isn't the best lane on the off lane, so something should switch a lot of, lot of region on the supports of uh, Viking GG. They came to fight. Celery bought three tangos uh, in double fairy fire, and they are fine already. Saxa will be first blood, and Templar Assassin gets it. Yeah, there's so much kill potential. I think these lanes are going to be very volatile on the bottom lane and on the top too. If you get them low on top lane, suddenly a lot of terrorist charges. Oh, and look at Toby. Toby. Toby might just go down here. Fairy fire, and it looks like we'll get away with this. No tail's taking a lot of damage, so who have to back up? They, fact, might, they go might just kill him. Yeah, he does have mango. Renewed, they stun. Nope, doesn't get it out. Shikuchi hits just before he can completely turn and stun. That's pretty well played by uh, Viking GG. And you have to understand that this Orb of Venom uh, tree and protector slows you so much with the Nature's Grasp as well. Bottom lane. Mid one, bad away. Shad chasing on. Mid one's going to go down first. Shad won't die either. He's too fast. The first gets him away. Meanwhile, yeah, top, indeed. they were. Pro this is a oh. bit problematic. Radiant structures. Actually, yeah, fortified. boom. He's going for it. He's going for it. Topson, he's got tangos. He needs to eat out of here quick. Instead, he turns and fights. Gust is out, but he's dead. I, I, I mean, he actually. Could maybe, you know, like uh, blood right into enchant, and then you can't get out. No way. But, yeah. The terrorist worked out so far for him. Top lane, they're diving Sumail. And they might be able to get him here. He's trying to get through the swarm. Sprouts to try and protect himself, but Aramis is master of all, all trees. Oh. Sumail, he's thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, he's tree see everything. He's just messing with Turvy right now. He does not have the mana for Shikuchi, and that's <laughs> <a crazy laughs> got him. He isn't really weak at getting items on his own as well, but Necros help you with pushes to end mid one. I yeah, he's he's just gonna die. I was about to say, like the big problem you have here is he's become Ooh, boom, he gets fire. And it will just TP away. Uh, that tower is hurting though. Boom. He realizes it was a bad move in the end. He's gonna try and run away. And Topston does need to be careful because he could bait himself towards his death. Boom. Can he get the deny? Refraction batted away. If they know you don't. He oh, he gets a kill! And the courier! <laughs> Say though, uh, he could have TP'd out on the mid lane. I think he had it, yeah. right? He, he had, had it the TP. after yeah. the multi shot finished, basically. Maybe there's a call from Aramis saying, "No, nah, we could probably turn this." Yep. It's being well, Aramis in the top lane, and no tell, they'll turn on him. Man, I'm being inspired to play three and protect. Mm -hmm. As that case, I think like usually we see them go death so if they know they can out farm their opponent, but it's a drow in the jungle, right? Like you want to punish that. Just like they punish no tails, Korea. Can okay. they punish the draw in the jungle now? Just TP, lol. Is not gonna work this time. The centaur stomps the bullet. Imagine if that centaur stomp prevented the TP in the first place, dude. That's so <laughs> triggering. Bottom lane. Moving in, shot. Cuts the trees and looks to move away. Blood right. So I'm gonna clip on the mid one and it looks like Viking GG are gonna lose the boss one. I like his build though. He's going to fit with sharp pretty much uh, glass cannons and Jakiro is a core remember so all of these heroes will suffer versus blade mill and can't can't really avoid it yeah that's true you are playing the drow and the prophet and then you know the t if you had a ta then you'd hate building the blade mill but no side of he's just casually he, he does this from time to time it's also good for the side of og and this, this map is going to start to feel really small very quickly yeah, yeah, he had Necros flying over to him. Maybe if he got it earlier, Sumail. Aramis was trying to cap this outpost. He fails to do so. So both sides will get their XP. Sumail, no real way to kill Shad. He'd have to get past him to put the Sprout down. Oh, oh okay. That's, that's one way to give him an opportunity to kill, is if you accidentally cut the wrong tree. I mean, there's four heroes here. <laughs> even if he cut the wrong tree, even if he cut, did cut the... But barely makes it out. And everyone else from OG will be able to retreat because Viker, they don't really have a way of stopping TP. Which is awkward when you say it out loud. No tail, in a bit of trouble. And he will go down. But as you say, mid one in the mid lane. Moving in, boom. He will die for this. He does get the kill, but Topson says Topson's the one that will be farming, right? So you need some fighting type items. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, Topson. A oh, bit of trouble for him. Uh, Stomp's gonna come from the center, and Toby, if he's cuties, he might kill himself here. 
Yes, you need to throw down the ice pot. Thompson pushes one away. Toby will be the one dying here. Well, they don't have greedy. ice pad. They don't. It's for a three seconds duration, so that's pretty cool to use. No tell might pay for this T-Ward. Rupture comes out. And no TP for probably five seconds. You know, the, he, he broke the most important law of facing off against Bloodseeker. Is anyone else on boom? No. Blade mail into S and Y on Bloodseeker. Oh. Fight in the same area. This time Vi can bring more heroes. However, they are still outnumbered. Thompson will take down Celery. Now Boom is just being tired and ignored. The Orchid's gonna come out now. They're trying to tick out that Aegis and they will do so exactly that. Already down. Slows on the Shad to stop him from reinforcing. And with Aramis here, they might just let this one go. Damn Shad. Shad, he's, he's trying to kite. He's trying to actually duke him out and actually tank for them. So on the back line, Toby comes in. He'll snipe one out. Tops is down. An OG. I mean, it looked like a solid posturing until you realize flanking definitely hurts them. As Drow's brought down, there's no damage left on the side of OG. And Toby, with this DD, just melting through the heroes this is, on the side this of the side. Also, Weaver just being there with the double damage, getting there in time from the back to kill off uh, the draw. Oh, the Orc is got here. In mind. Oh, has he got him? They need another silence, and there it is. They'll be able to kill off Toby. Good kill coming out from OG. When you don't have uh, a lot of lockdown, like Viking GG, that, that means a lot. Uh, speaking of the man with the McFire himself, mid one's getting caught out and brought to a very quick grave. And this should be a push by Viking. Dude, they're just dead outright, right? It's... Yeah. It's more the burst potential of OG. It's, it's not this attrition warfare that we're used to no seeing. No tail, he's this. spotted. That hurt. That really hurt. And he'll be brought down, blink away. And they bait in Earth Spirit. Sumail cancels and baits his own team as they see it's a bad fight. They actually have to bail and leave both mid the ones behind. And mid one, he's not out either. They're still hunting for more. They'll take his courier, they'll take him, they'll take everything. Now they'll take the tier two mid. Toby is so confident that, and that Atos coming in clutch oh. for Aramis again. Yeah, speaking of it, there it is again. They even rock through to make sure he can't escape. He's got a TP and he'll look to get away, but he was going to be there. No tell trying to save the day, but unable to do so as they bring down Thompson. Nice time lapse just in time by Toby and he gets the Shikuchi so Saxa can't stop him. They might actually get more kills at this rate if OG aren't careful. They do see no tail. They'll slow him down. He's going pale, but he starts up now. Sans is going to go onto Toby. They need to stun him up and do a lot more damage to burn through him. Macrofire, Ice Pop, he's dead. But Sumail, he might give his life in return for this. He will go down. So far, three for one trade. But I think Viking aren't done scourging through the bu uh, bargain bucket as they bring down a fourth member of OG. I, then Weaver does the same. They're just so mobile on these two cores. Thompson. Thompson. Clean that mobility, allows them to scout the smoke. They're trying to go for him now. And Trump's gonna be low, and the Yules is gonna come out, which means that Weaver can time lapse off. No, the silence comes out. He's still alive, though. They didn't kill him in time. Well, time lapse to get only a tiny sliver of health back. But they're cutting them out. They go in now. Sax against Melt through. Sumail next in the hit list. The silence comes out, but Sumail forced to fight. Three dead on the side of OG. Four yeah. Enchantress, but they're not done. Shad has been cutting out every sort of CC in this fight, and as a result, could just run them down. Double kill for him as he kills Shakiro, and no tell, he'll throw out a stun, but you can't get anyone with that one. And it looked all right. Who is Viking gonna find? There it is, no tail's been seen. He'll actually use the spike carapace, but the net comes out. Stun under one, four star four. Good stun. He's yeah. kind of pretty damn well here. They're not coming to assist him, and Viking realize this, so they'll kill him off still. They might just go mid now. So, as we said, does a lot of damage. Nice stick, keep him alive. Yeah, and we'll the mech from mid out. one as well. But top the lane, Thompson. Yep. The net comes out onto tops and the holding the yules, so he can't even try and TP out, even if he had it. And that's an even better kill. 50 yeah. seconds without the off cooldown, and because of that, Weaver just solo catches him. Oh, now they're gonna catch more sacks up. Ooh, bro, low. The blood right won't be quick enough though. But the tower isn't so lucky to have a way of moving away. They see no tail. Again, he has no do. carapace. He's ruptured up. It's like play with yourself, buddy. See how it works out for you. Fight carapace to try and start off from the blood seeker, but no way to beat in the Viking right now. And in the end, no tail just kicks down. Blood right kills him off. Now, uh, it, it was actually rupture that killed him because. Oh, he actually yeah, actually yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he used the blood right in such a way that he had to move mid one. Mid one's gone. Mid one, I'm done. And so Saxo as well. At this rate, OT are getting very close to being done themselves. As Viking are not letting up. The buyback's going to come up from the Earth Spirit. Weaver's been caught on the side. Doesn't have time lapse. It's going to be a silence coming out. The roll through is good as well. So it looks like they'll be able to kill off the bug. 
but the rest of the side of Viking will easily retreat as no one is there to stop. Like, this is a bottom lane push coming for sure they in the next couple of minutes. where Sumel is. Aramis finds him. Overgrowth is going to come out. And Sumel crying for his mama at this point. He'll try and get out with a CP. Do they have the damage? It looks like he'll be able to make it out. That silence was good. Meant the Templar Assassin could not use the melt. But however, there is someone else hanging around. Saxa, he won't be so lucky. Nice block on the rollout by Shad. Gets him the kill. What's about no till? Bellary. Definitely setting up kill after kill. Let's see if they'll find another one. This Topson's been spotted by Toby. And where he said, you can't TP out against this Weaver because of his build. Sumel is coming though. He decides against it when he sees that there's reinforcements. Topson's just dead. Maybe he can take someone with him. Doesn't look like it though. Mid one's now in trouble also. He'll try to TP out. Weaver. He can't. He's out of range. Yeah. He couldn't reach. He was trying to reach from the cliff. Yeah. Meanwhile, on the bot lane, they're going in on the boom, but he has the BKB, so no tails down. Sumail needs an out. He's already used the Orchid. He has no way to try and turn around them. And Aramis, he hasn't got the Atos for nine seconds. However, Sumail, everything is on cooldown. There's no TP out for him. He'll sprout to try and lock in boom. But now Aramis has the Atos. He can just hold on to it. He's like, where the hell are you going? Oh, back to base? Okay, we'll give you a help and hand with that. Yeah, really well played by Aramis. I need to sprout the TA. Uh, some, like, you, you can see how they're really thinking so well under pressure but at this point for OG you can think as long as you want as much as you want you're so on so far behind yeah Viking don't need to think as much as just hit and they're trying to do that right now boom though jumps on too low macro by stuck in the sprout he's gonna tick down to this stun gets the kill and now 85 seconds on the TA but you're losing everything else on the side of OG Sumail interrupt from keeping away Shaz BKB has ran out now maybe with Topson's buyback they can force them away but Toby says no we go deeper Sumail gonna be found 90 seconds dead and gone that was his dieback now they don't need to leave yeah you don't have a TA but you've still got a Bloodseeker and a Weaver that are just out of control at this stage Try and slow it, but Shad has the blade mail and Topson's feeling a lot more pain than he is. So much armor on this blood seek. Up to 50 armor at that stage and no tail. He'll wish he had that much armor as he gets melted down by the right clicks and brought on through for more. As they'll chase in under the Kiro, Yules up. Buys a little bit of time, but for what? Ice pop goes down. Shad's still a little bit too tanky. 20 seconds until the BKB's available. Blood right will force Topson away. And Shad, he has the movement speed to keep on chasing the gust. Who cares? You don't need spells as a blood seeker. Just right click until they go down. Topson, Got him. He did actually get the heal though. And as a result, Toby now in a little bit of trouble himself. He's got the time lapse. He wasn't there to save the day, but Celery with the right click will bring down the top. And that'll be his die back as well. Toby will yours up and look to move away the Shikuchi, but no chance that there's a roll through from Saxa. Or maybe he will. Get out. Yeah. He's tanky enough. The living armor coming out from Aramis saves the day but Aramis will have to die for this one just sits there and goes god damn carries always get is coming back she's got that nine seconds uh BKB as well Toby oh. if they can actually get a pick off on Toby before things can start to get back together for Viking they can get some momentum here and there's the stun coming out right now the ice bar follow up Toby very yeah. greedy very noisy uh, as an AC one. completed yeah. Yeah, and if this goes any longer, we will end up having an axe because it's already halfway towards it. <laughs> At that point, the same frustrating meta Weaver we're used to comes into play. But Topson, he's in trouble with the current form of Weaver. They jump straight in, see him melt through him. He's down for 80. They're not done hunting, though. They're going to move forward looking for more. Go Scepter, but guess what? Weaver has a Yule. Don't say that often, but we're saying in this game quite a lot because it's setting up a lot of kills and preventing a lot of escapes. The number one falls and Toby moves forward looking for more on the mid one. No tails nearby. Toby, though, he's got that cheese. He's still pretty tanky. And now Celery, he just unleashes the beast as he wails on this Jakiro. You wouldn't believe he's a core right now. And Sumel, TPing to his found. He's, he's going to wish he was like a normal nature's prop in a pub game, this experience, and just TP away. But they've got to fight. Like, it's do or die. Because there's no way Viking are leaving your base now. They have one more Raxus. They're not giving up. Not for long, Liz. Unless they do something in the next five seconds, it's going to be dead. And they done something. They gave another kill to Boom. That's Jakiro dead and gone for 80 seconds. And no tell. Not really sure what the hell he's meant to do here. Watch his base die, I guess. Not much else left to do. GG. Nah, he's got a creep OG skip. OG can't do it. <laughs> well, the SML is doing the creep skip. Uh, this is more like I'm going to inflate my GPM for the end stats. Yeah, that, that's, that's literally what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well played by Viking. I think they unlocked uh, their draft. Very early on. 
Yeah, he, he's like completely pivoted in the playmaker mid, right? Like, you know, the old kind of 2013, 2014 stuff. That here uh, with the auras from Beastmaster that will be coming with the minus armor from Wave of Terror and the Vengeance Sora. They're definitely playing on enabling Sumail and making this uh, Priestess of the Moon just destroy everyone. So far, no tell destroys a core, but they are munching away at itself there. Rana, now that no, well, no tell can't really defend Sumail now, so he might just get forced off for a wave or two. Bit of a rough yeah, he might just suicide here, actually. He is. Yeah. He's had enough of life. He says, This sucks. I am waiting for that Korea. I saw what happens to Korea's when I murdered this. Well, Tomb Lane sucks up. He's very low. He's gonna salve. Hey, it will be cancelled by Celery. Celery's gonna Radiant's keep on chasing. He has got the boomstick in just a few seconds, and that will allow him to get the first blood on the Saxa if he taps it one more. First blood! <laughs> really, really cool. But the moment Saxa dies, he needs to abandon ship and move back into the lane. And you, you know when you see these players switch into the off lane, where, what hero do you think they're most happy to discover and learn? I feel like Beastmaster's got to be up there because it's rare that a Beastmaster doesn't feel like a good pick in any meta. The hero that you win with, pretty much. Top lane, Toby. Damn, they... He's gone. <laughs> this is why they're playing the Nautil position 5 Elder Titan. He carries a serious punch. If he uh, catches a couple of oh. creeps with the spirits... He ain't the only one going down in Austin. It's a blow so far. And mid... It's actually going reasonably well for Thompson. He's even up to the CS of the Invoker. Of course, this is a Quas Wex Invoker, so it's not like he's playing to dominate the CS. Yeah, and there aren't many mid laners that lose to a Quas Wex Invoker, really. At least not in the first couple of levels. You're yeah, not real to, mid laners. Yeah, you're expected to be uh, winning that lane. Just wondering uh, what their what their item build is going to be like. Beastmaster, obviously. No tilt. This is a hard one, Liz. I was going to say, maybe they should turn around Aramis with an arrow, but have a look at Sumail's build. Mm-hmm. Be though. Oh. Yeah, it would definitely have got him some more CS, which he could really do with right now. He's 7-3 compared to Toby, who's up on 14-7. So even with that something... kill on mine, Toby's getting the best out of this. Uh, bottom lane sucks up. He might fall here again. Oh, he's done, though. He'd already dove away. No chance to escape from that. It just doesn't feel so. Nah, that's true. But do you like it as much as if, say, you had a drow component in here? With oh, Saxa. Like, oh, no. Stronger. Uh, what? Oh, did he miss the dive of the hut? Oh. He didn't miss it. He didn't. It's not Vessel, Solar Crest route, and just buff Luna up further. Yeah, it's about being the playmaker, right? Your Luna doesn't come online as fast, so getting that Vessel early on in Walker will be good. Um... You can see that Notail is just chilling around mid lane at the moment because uh, Thompson is completely satisfied with farming a couple of stacks. It also allows Notail to make more stacks. Mm -hmm. uh, Sumail might still go down though. He's he has a leaf. leaf left. Yeah, he doesn't want to use it, but he's going to be forced to. Or is he? There it is. Yeah, he'll use it. Aris, what are you doing? Get back in the trace. This isn't your territory. Let's see yeah, the arrow. Level the for a, a quick ags, but I wouldn't mind seeing that yours we saw last time. Try and interrupt the way that OG can initiate. Mid one. They're initiating on a mid one here. Cookie in. See you later. He doesn't even bother moving. Actually, they don't have detection. Tornado will finish him off, however. Snapfire does go down. Uh, Sack. That's being made by Nerdtail. Yeah, he's made quite a bit, quite a few. Not only there, but on the other side of the jungle. But he might fall now. Uh, someone had to occupy the mid. Occupy doesn't mean die, but in this case it will. As no tail goes down. Yes. They can't push onto the tower though. Sumel rotates in and gets the counter kill on Aramis. Yeah, this they had a dire ward. They had a dire ward there, but uh, he did ward. Okay, Maybe he goes for mid instead. Yeah, the clip straight away. No hesitation. They just want to bring Topson down. Now, I think you want the tower gone before you try and yunk their stacks, but you've got problems. Boom has been slept up. Sumel's arrow will be a whiff, and Shad will get away. Dyer's top tower that salve has been used, and they do see Saxa. They see everyone here, so they can go for no-till. 
And they will do exactly that. We're going to catch him out. Burn for his man. He'll try and go for the stomp, but the damage is too much and they get the kill. Now they have a full access to this wonderful stack, which no tail was so gracious. as well, so it's not the worst situation for OG. For the they did get some heroes, some creeps. This is bad, though. They don't want to lose mid one like this. He just got the Necro book complete. If anything, you'd hoped he'd been pushing in, but. No chance of playing their own stacks again. No tails making more stacks for them. Not only that, they get four bounty runes. <laughs> Thank you, no tail. Four thousand net worth lead. Is, is, was there a roster change here? Did no tail change teams? I uh, must have missed this. He's Shad. definitely done a lot of stacking for Shad here. Shad is getting low, though. We get burn for him. With the prime roar, is good enough. The cookie's too late to save the day, and the overgrowth won't change anything either. And they'll find more. They chase on the boom next. He'll try and go invis to run away. But the kisses. No tail now in trouble. The swap comes in. Thompson. He might go down if he's not careful. Toby moves through. The splitter has to go for the time lapse to move away. But he wants to finish off tops and the magic missile. He knows Damn. that they have detection. I don't know why he thinks he can do this. But they... those stacks. Maybe it was I think from. You're right. Something dropped. Yeah, it was Vikings. Oh, that's painful. That was their first tier one item as well. Didn't find so much. What's the egg? Master. Yep, and the egg is just gone. Little Shredder does the work, and mid one, he's in a bit of trouble. He does get rid of the swarm, so it looks like Toby's gonna have to move away. The Sumel chased off to a different target, so they can't get any. He is melee, he does have to get close, but then he has a, a mini blink dagger to get closer, right? There's arguments back and forth. There's gonna be no argument about the death of Invoker, though. Boom. It's almost like Celery threw him out with a cookie, like, just take him! Just don't hurt me. They will. They will hurt you real bad. No escape from that. That's going to be a tier one tower as well. But they might find more. The sleep comes out. The arrow through. And they're going to find the kill on the Toby. They're just playing so well around what they've got. And it's... Look who they might find. He's thrown out a Hawk, but that's going to be false confidence. I think he knows the slow effect, but Boom's already on top of him. A mid one. He's done. He's out. No way to escape. And they're connected towards mid now. Uh, OG might be baiting themselves here. Shad is quite tanky. Such a good swap. Him in, and the Eclipse is going to come through. He's run away from the egg. They actually dodges out the split. And now he's able to make his escape. The sleep is going to be there. But they can't get on top of him right now. The stun does interrupt Snapfire from trying to protect the day. And Shad, he's trying to move away. But the ball will kick him down and kill him off mid one. Revenge from beyond the grave. And no tail just staple gunner straight into boom and smashes his skull. And with that, OG can now push in on this tier one tower. They're all living on slivers of HP, but they're managing to get the job done before uh, they have to retreat. Really well played by OG, that swap uh, onto the ally and then onto the Luna. Really well played. And now Aramis as well. Oh, Ooh, uh, yeah. He's got his Meteor ammo, but uh, it doesn't work very well when you hit Bob. No, no oh. till is spamming it. It's the Chinese one, I think, but uh, Shad. There's the reward. And there's no way to protect himself anymore because he used the Eclipse in the last fight. They'll sleep him up and run him down. The cookie is cute for Celery, not able to save the day. And instead, will now probably give his life to Toby. He is here. Maybe they can turn around. They'll be able to get the kill into the Verana. Magic Missile comes out of Celery. He is slowed and killed off. Now mid one trying to retreat. And Aramis just checking that the Meteor Hammer still works. And they're going to check that the swap still works. It does. It works very well. Triple kill. He's so aggressive with these swaps. A lineup that doesn't really buffer up at all. Radiance no. bottom tower is under Like maybe attack. once you get some items, you get things like Solar Crest and the Invoker. But hey, you know, that's like saying any off Arrow, could mid lane. Be a good oh, tank. it goes on Beaver. Toby. I, I don't think that was an intentional bodyguard moment. But Celery will be grateful nonetheless. He will still make sure that he dies though. Uh, as... <laughs> But on a more serious note, oh, he's he gonna do it again almost. But on, on a more like, serious Celery, note, do I need to tank this one? Nah, you good. Moving forward, mid one. He's gonna feel the wrath of the kisses. When well, that cold snap run, and there is no easy escape from this. Overgrowth comes out. They're actually gonna trap Phoenix here. Toby's gonna look the time lapse away. They'll chase forward to Phoenix and look to split up the fight a little bit, which is beneficial because now there's no chance for OG to stack up. Shad? Back. No tail will be able to get a kill. And in the meantime, Shad is brought down as they split up a bit too much. They left Luna on an island alone, and now the magic missile on Aras means the turnaround's gonna be there. They kiss chase Saxa, and they never find it. And now Toby might be in trouble himself. He just brought down. Can't even finish off no tail in time. And the swarm won't this can Continues. If there's a correlation compared to the first, the OG may force the third game. It is looking good for them right now. In court, they say thank you very much, Shad. We do want that. 
Aramis. They say thank you very much, Aramis. He won't take that and will take your life instead. Now the Eclipse on the side, though. They find Softson. That's a big kill. He's on quite the kill streak. Now the Primal Roll comes out. The turnaround is just brutal. Everything into one kill means nothing left for the rest of OG. Okay, there's a whale completed on, on Phoenix. I love this. This item has been pretty much forgotten by... Uh, most players, but Saksa is not shying away from it at all. Arrow, well, that, that's in the 25% department. Toby, he's learned his lessons. The kids are going to come out. The egg is going to go town, but it's really defensive. And Thompson, is he gone too deep this time? I like back. Oh no, the primal roll! They don't get off the cookies! Thompson drives in even deeper. He wants to be this deep. The primal roll is going to come out. Shad is already down. The damage overwhelms them. The swap to get even more heroes deeper as Boom tries to run away. And Celery is left behind. Just an easy pick for OG. Sumail surviving on a sliver of HP. The Aegis will not be wasted. The buybacks come out, though. They know they have to fight here. Mid one is going to be brought down. Toby trying to move away. Turns around onto Sumail. The time lapse, and now they're on top of them. They need reinforcements, but look at this. OG, they're nowhere nearby. They say, get out yourself, Sumail. It's your problem to deal with. And he won't be able to do that. He's just going to go down. Tornado to secure the kill. And Viking, it did cost them some buybacks, but they fight. Really big items coming for, for uh, OG. That Vlad's plus Necro 3 on Beastmaster. Oh, He's no. found the Remus. Yep. No chance to even use the overgrowth. And he just knew straight over. Axes out. Says me. Net on the Phoenix. He's trying to do the same thing. He actually might run into mid one on top lane who does have Necro 3. He doesn't have Prime Raw though. Oh, oh, oh. He and what's happening to Boca? Bot lane was coming to help because. Well, guess what? You don't longer have an Invoker. Celery, however. What? Yep, D Ward, but now what's the plan? All right, 70 and seconds. And it's only the two of them. Uh, Ax, and that might offset OG's aggression. But not for long. They say, okay, we can't kill heroes, but we can kill buildings. And Shad very reluctant now. They don't have time lapse. It's now off cooldown, so... Feel a bit more confident, but Shad is only on half HP, so he can still get busted even with a time lapse. Sumail forced away nonetheless. Spirit Vessel will get him blown. Oh, so left inside. Eclipse is going to come out. There's the time lapse. They have to run over again. The egg was used in no tail. He says, This is your problem, Captain. This is your draft. You take the front of the force. And he says, I will. Tornado is going to come out before he can complete the stomp, though, and he still needs to escape. But egg was used. However, so was Eclipse. And OG. And it was really keeping them in this game. Maybe they this. can. F yeah. The split. No tail straight away. He's found. Like last time you got swapped in your lip, but there's no one here to swap, and there's nowhere for you to run. They'll just casually run him down. He is fast with Fra the Earth Splitter, but nowhere near fast enough. And on the other side, the already see Toby gets caught out. Mid one. Used the primal roll. Didn't even use the blink to get there. He came to him, and now they'll chase for more. They'll be able to find the kill on the celery, and Aramis is dead, and now they're gonna just chase through for more. Shad, that's the one you can't afford to lose. Cookie to try and get him away. If that had crit, he'd instantly be dead. But mid one is on top of him at all times. And those axes are coming off cooldown, which means that this Luna is going home in a body bag. And that's 80 seconds on the side. And really well you played. see how they get so split as well, right? Chasing for two kills at the same time. And in the yeah, end, yeah. OG individually are just stronger with their heroes right now. It's just the coordination in which they move. Huh? No mana for the stun. Boom, headshots around a boom, but no follow-up arrow. A little bit off the mark, the stuns weren't long enough, but they will be able to now get the racks. Luna is up in 20 seconds, and she will have a clip, so likely OG will back away and move towards the Roche pit. That's confident. Yeah, it's not as much about, well, we could get screwed over the fights, it's that you need them to get screwed over the fights, and Toby rushes out way too fast, doesn't even survive long enough for the arrow to hit. He's got 2.5k HP, by the way. This vengeful. Mm -hmm. he, he's, I believe, the tankiest hero in the game when it comes to the health pool, at least. Yep. Wow, and Walker, boom, well. swapped in. Yep. Start now on the shard straight away. Thompson says, I'll tank everything alone if I need to. Still got the cheese to work with the other split of proof. The shard's going to be clipped by it. And he's in trouble. Time lapse to get him back, but now I need to get out. BKB from Sumail. Overgrowth's going to come out. And the Frisbee's are too much. They bring him down once. And they've saved the Eclipse for the time being. The Kisses are zoning out the rest of OG. The egg will go off. But now Sumail in trouble. Leaks away. Will be followed by the net. And now the Lucid Beam Sniper from Long Range might tick him down with the Spirit Vessel. There's the Sunstrike, and he's dead. 
biggest kill that they needed was found, and now it looks like OG needs to retreat because the side of Viking are ready to come out and play. Thompson, brought low, has to eat the cheese, and he will get full health from it. Now there's going to be Eclipse fall off. Celery is tanking for the rest of his team, but no tail. He's tanking the entirety of the Eclipse. Jazz going to be brought down. He's too squishy, and Thompson with a swap to get one deep. A boom moves into his ice pool to try and protect himself. The buyback comes out from Luna and straight on top of Thompson, but Thompson with this stun straight away just jumping on top of Shad, trying to life steal up quick enough, but he's unable to do so. The Lucent Beam will finish him off, and Boom, in the meantime, has just been keeping the rest of OG busy. Or oh, are they keeping him busy right now? Boom. There's going to be a time lapse. Gets him away and alive in time. Sacks up with a burn down to get the kill. Damn. Another there's going to be a follow up kill. Shad, he's going to be brought down. Dead for 90 seconds. The buyback calls out from Invoker. And mid one still hanging around. He says, I need to hit creeps to the life steal up. But then he will try to retreat. Sacks up with the TP out will fail due to the net. And Toby is able to net that kill as well. It's a lot of trading back and forth. But in the longest. Not necessarily do the most damage. So you're saying it's just eliminate the Mirana first? Just, just click Mirana, yeah. Just, yeah. Or start off by clicking ET, although there's going to be Prime Rule coming up. Invoker isn't too friend. No tail trying to move away. Gonna be a dive through. Saxa does have the egg. Now on a boom, that boy is starting to hurt. He's gonna try and go in to move away, but they see everything. They're gonna chase through, look for a nice time lapse. At the last moment, Toby's trying to save the day, but the invoker netted up afterwards to sleep as well. He's gonna go down. Toby's barely alive. Celery trying to escape, but they're trying to chase shield forward and we'll look for the kill, but Toby. Makes his way out. Celery says, go, leave me behind. You must live to fight another day, but they're going to lose more heroes. Celery's going to be brought down. Toby's going to be chased forward on two. Aramis is going to be seen, but not found as he does get out in time. And Toby will going to be a very difficult defense for uh, Viking. Difficult doesn't really begin to summarize it. I mean, you can do the buyback where you want. You got the kisses, but if you use those kisses, you don't find a kill. You know, you're just going to run straight into you. Saxon, bold and shot. Straight into the face. He's in a lot of trouble now. They're going to try media hammer defensively. There's going to be use of the time to get away, but the hits are too hard. They bring him down, and with that, the GG gets pulled. Viking, no, there is no way back from this game. Still have to go to the third match up against OG. Oh, Damn, damn, damn. Such a fun game to watch. After that first match, I actually... ...to initiate free BKB. And they round it out with the Queen of Pain. Immediately, oh, like, oh, oh, he's pretty fast. He could just TP out once he reaches the tree line, and they have no way of stopping him as it's a level two Enigma. He's waiting too long, though. I yeah, he, think he's, yeah, he's he dead. He can't, yeah, he can't anymore. And honestly. What? He's just gonna go to the same spot and die, right? It's just one of those things. He does have Firefly this time around, so... Yep, but no tell understands basic principles. You see fire, you follow fire. <laughs> that, those are some... Look at the CS, 19A. Yeah, Shad, he's not getting as much either, but at least he's present for the XP factor. I think you, he might be going for Necros as well, because he has two Sage's masks. Well, he sidestepped the arrow. Uh, there's no real way to sidestep the Shaker, though. Mid one is here. Shad, it's getting low, but it's a level four Queen of Pain. It doesn't really uh, have the same effect. Yeah, if he was still the mid, he'd be able to get many kills here. It's yeah, a lot of gold from killing all those spiders. Can he maybe he kick her, Yeah, he's, he's got still the go nope. Oh, he missed the courier. He's actually just trying to be cheeky, but the courier actually spotted him out as a result. Meanwhile, on the bot lane, favorable trade for Viken. What tier are we in? Is, is he really going for my, I mean, my, uh, He's had enough of Necronomicon meta, okay? He's getting ahead of the curve. He knows that Midas is going to come back as soon as Necronomicon doesn't work anymore. Mid, mid, oh, uh, mid one. 
I don't, sure. I don't know if he wants this. They might be able to get Celery. Will there be a price, though? Shadi goes in deep. He commits hard, and they're fully in on this fight. Toby arrives as well, and Sax is being chased onto. Aramis, he'll trade. DP out for sent by Sumel, and it will not work. Oh, it does. Actually, no, the final moment, the final tick wasn't there. And Celery goes down to mid one in the meantime. All of a sudden, Popson turns up, and Toby's the one on the run, but nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. He'll get the kill with the haste. He'll chase forward on the Shad, but there's no... Should help. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. The defusal and the agonim skewed up. He's blocked Topson, but no, Topson will now farm. Oh, no, he didn't renew it. I think he could have got another boulder down and probably killed all the spiders. He didn't want to. He attack. got all the small ones. Bottom lane. Right. Do they want to commit hard? Not on to Saxa. So they want a different kill. He does get to steal a lasso. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> that is not how you deal with Queen of Pain lineups. They wanted the kill on the Nature's Prophet so bad. They'll get it, but at a price. Two dead already. And they won't be able to find more, but in the mid lane, there's a dive. Enigma goes, but if they can hit the roll in and then bat him back, they can get the last two, but no. it looks like that's going to be impossible. Celery here. Yeah, Boom is just way too smart for this. He sends the spider links to scout out. Also, Celery knows that he needs to protect his brood, but. In. They're going for it now, but they can't get close enough for the last two. So, boom, trying to move away. Lift down. He says, come on. <laughs> get over here. You belong to me now. They'll pull him into the Midnight Pulse. Drag away with the real last two users. Toby, he doesn't want to be here anymore. The Black Hole's going to come up, but it doesn't connect from the Shadow. Instead, they're going to bring him down. He's dead. They'll be trading this, and it'll be favorable for OTs. They then take out another hero as Marana also falls. Toby has to retreat as quick as possible. Shaker. That's that cool. Topson. Is this a bit too far? Roll through, Sonic Wave. No, it's not, because Toby just made himself in. Thompson, he's going to live. He's going to TP away to safety. Where are the chips? Feels appropriate at this moment. Ah, dude, he... He's draft. I guess he's feeling... They're going to come to us anyway. It's just about surviving their burst potential. Mid one. Mid one. Nice pushback. And straight into the Inkswell. And Sansa's way into Queen of Pain will be brought down. And... Oh, that's not the fight you want, Prophet. Straight into uh, an arrow and straight into his grave. And now... Um, the arrow connected on Sumail so well. Yeah, Stop they're kind of reading him like his textbook at this point. However, Shad has been read. Thompson rolls in. And not only will he get the bounty, he will likely get this Marana kill. Whoop. Oh, he can leave it. Yes, it's in range. Just long enough to put the boulder down. And no tail is going to be found. He pays the price for Topson's crime. I'm sure he brought some sentries to try and mitigate the loss. What are we looking towards here in the bot lane? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Liz, but I think we saw this. It did have an arrow last time. It seems it's getting a little bit easy to kill Sumel. Yeah. Hmm. They do. Both of these teams have wards there and they're trying to play around it. So Sumel kind of making the same mistake again, top lane. Shaker will go down. Top some what he's going for. He's almost got it. Just the Mystic mm -hmm. Staff there. Meanwhile, on the bot lane. Oh, oh. Oh, no tail. Oh, what? That's, oh, no, the black hole? That's... It's an interesting choice, Johan. And it might cost you your life. They're rolling. They're trying to look for some kills now. Maybe they'll find Stillery. Maybe they'll find Toby. Yes, they'll get him. But now, you need a third kill to make this worthwhile. You commit the black hole, and it's for the POS 3 and the POS 5. Down potential onto me. Yeah, yeah, he has that Agonims. He can he can go anywhere from now on. And maybe for top and mid. Yep, they'll jump in. They got the stun control to bring Thompson down. All he can do is magnetize once or twice. He will get all the baby spiders, but the big mama spider is reigning supreme there. But I just love the way they play. Starts mm -hmm. to show them the way that this team executes. Toby is going under the vision that they have here. They don't know that OG has vision here yet. Lasso's going to come out. A sense of irony overwhelms Toby, but not for long. It's his turn. He says, where the hell are you going? Eye for an eye, my friend. You use yours, and I'll show you mine. Steel coming out. Starstorm will allow him to get the kill, and now he's going to try and hunt for more, but he does die immediately, and Shad has oh, to retreat. Spiders. 
No black hole, no fear. They'll bring him down. He tries to make himself some idol on babies, but he can't. It's for Viking GG, they did take down the Enigma. They didn't commit a lot as well. Don't oh. Chad's yeah. in trouble. His build does not support this. Neither does all the overwhelming trees surrounding him. Well, they actually might look for vengeance onto him. Celery's moving forward and they have got reinforcements coming. Look at this. He's, he's scouting him with the Corio. It will cost him the Corio, but now they know where he is and they know that they can get ranged. Nice silence coming out by Sumail, but the net means he's not getting out. And the inks well forward. He's got the BKB. Aramis, you got to deliver to that moment. And as a result, Aramis is going to go down. Oh, no. <laughs> Speaking of pain, Queen of Pain's here as well. She's going to move through, spot out Celery straight away. And Sumel, hot on pursuit of Celery. He could try for a TP away. I think that's your only play, actually. Uh, I'm not sure why he's holding it. I guess he just doesn't want to live. After what he just saw happen to his Shaker, he can't, he can't hold being apart from Aramis. So he'll go to his grave as well. And that rider, he caught Thompson, but this is a tanky, tanky boy. Who caught who? Who caught who here? All right, Thompson. Oh, so they caught close. Thompson. But what, what boom, do you... full of moments, and it yeah, just wins yeah. them the fight. Yeah. So, you know, at least this one wasn't dependent on RNG. You knew an item was coming, too. Oh, look at this Viking. Oh, uh, Sumail. Hey, he's got a TP. You could just leave right now. It might be advisable, because the BKB is going to last long enough that Sumail will go down. That is not a favorable trade. And the arrow from <laughs> Thompson means he can't do anything. Black Hole does come out of boom. He's got that Aegis, though, so even the first kill is going to be difficult. He starts to eat up with his insatiable hunger. And on the side, Thompson is keeping the rest of Viking busy. Toby's going to be brought down. Boom, trying to retreat, mid one, all blink away, but the Diffusal did hit onto him. He's in the tree line, they don't know about it though. Well, they didn't see him. Oh, oh there uh, they, did. they do see him now, and they'll be able to burn through the mana quick enough, or are they? They'll still chase. It looks like Corp is going to struggle to get away from this okay. one. They continue uh. pursuit, he's gone. And Saxon may have just given his life as well. They'll decide against diving it though, because they turn around, they see Thompson is all alone. They can't get in front of him just yet. He's slowing him down, he's got another roll out. They block it though, like that. There's not many options South. left here. Tries, but they get in front of him. This spider's got a big hitbox, and he finds it out the hard way. Now, what do you think if you use the best for the next fight? It does have a really long cooldown. He doesn't have eggs or anything. Um, but yeah, a very... A Sumail, he has like this moment of brilliance. Well, right? That's, that's one way of stopping you here. I think you just accept you can have the black hole boom, but after the last one, he isn't going to feel comfy. That's the thing. That is the weakness right now for Viking is because they put this Aegis on Brood. Your Marana is still very Another vulnerable. smoke happened from uh, OG. Celery. Solvine connects two of them together. And They're coming. Wait, he will give his life, but now the last two's coming in. And then the Brood Mama, the Echo. Uh. Uh, Sonic Wave to try and break up the fight, but the damage is already done. OG will lose Thompson as well. And mid one just has to run for the high hills, leaving Sack to defend for himself, which he most definitely cannot do against Boom. <laughs> Damn, this is... going to have Arrow available. Got two leaps. They can get on top of him in the blink of an eye. And they pinged out. I think they had... Yeah, they see mid one. They know where he is. So if they want to try for it right now, they can. He's trying to get rid of the creeps, but they don't need him anymore. They've done the do service. They've given him enough time. The, the racks are going to fall in the mid. With the tier two still standing, they're not worried about the rest. However, mid one is in a lot of trouble. He went too far. They knew he was there. And they punished him for it. As Queen of Pain. Black hole in the base. Oh, they're going for it. Boom. He's going to move away. He's living. 100 health. He's able to escape. The silence on the shad won't stop him either. He's able to just walk it off in the end. Use the black hole and you don't even stop them from getting the die back on Saxa. Mm. And, and there's bigger ramifications to this now, Liz. Like there is a chief concern for OG that Viking are coming for the throne because they know they're going to look like Ba. And, and they're, they're still going to go. Life. They're still going to go for the sides. They're going for the bottom lane tier two and the top lane probably. But Toby did find some mail. Did he or find some mail? Found him. Yeah. Oh, did Sumel, indeed. I stole a gore too, maybe, yeah. Well, the reason I mentioned the boat one is that's even more recent. Like, they originally, the iteration that they went through for... Oh, what was that for? I didn't expect them to go for the Rubik. They looked like they wanted to move towards the Earth Spirit, but they'll take that pick off and head on for more. As oh, as just so close. Way out. The arrow did not connect, but the fissure will. And now they have good stun control. Echo slam to ensure the kill. They'll bring him down. Now mid one wants out. He'll be able to escape, but he doesn't murder the spiders. Now those spiders are wailing at your face. And it doesn't take long. This is going to be very quick. Because the death is there on the Murano as well. Uh, they might just go. Yeah, they're going to force it. They're going straight for the throne. No black hole for 10 seconds. 
they don't have a tier 2, so they can't really go for that. Thompson is pinging out the bounty room because he needs 90 gold to play to make. Uh, it's not like OG are going to get any game-changing items anytime soon. BKBs are far, far... Um, Oh, Away. coming in, BKB from Shot. Now the lead starts wrapping him together. Mid one's going to be brought down, and all of a sudden, Thompson needs a way out of this quickly. Shot stands his ground on low HP against Sumail, but will lose that fight. The buybacks are coming out on both sides. Pop back in, and both Moran and Batrider re arrive, but Sumail, unable to escape in time, will be brought down, and now it is the group mother show. She moves across on the Thompson, and while that's happening, another fight is commencing. The Dukes are out on mid one. He wanted to re engage with the fight, and now he might be in trouble himself. He'll be able to blink away. Lasted literally a millisecond. I, I think he died the same moment he casted it or he cancelled it it was hard to even see and then right now if you're johan you're going to just, just posture act like we have the black hole but they know viking know they have the victory it's a 2-1 victory over og viking gg taken damn damn uh